Check it out. We have a package here. I wonder what could be inside. I know what's inside. This is just for suspense. Ooh. It's a chaos coaching day. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrock.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody, and welcome to another Chaos Coaching. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done one of these. If you're new to the channel, basically what it is is me breaking down everything that I do on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. It's me going through my entire thought process. It's to help you all get better at the game. Now, it's going to be less edited. It's still edited some, but compared to my other videos, it's going to be edited less. It's more to help you all get better at the game. It's going to be a little bit different, though. We're going to be focused on our newest ebook over on HighRot.Tips. It's the Gun Tight Slots H-Back Week. It's our final ebook for the year. And it's one of my favorite offenses that I've used all year. I wish I got in it sooner. It's very effective. And I'm going to be breaking those things down throughout the gameplay. We first have to start with the lineup. Now, abilities is a main component of the lineup. Starting off with RG3 here, we have Hot Route Master, Escape Artist, Gunslinger, and Dashing Deadeye. Those are the four that I want. Now, if you're not going to get a golden ticket QB so you can't get Hot Route Master and Escape Artist, I'm going to recommend you actually get a pocket QB with Hot Route Master. On Randy Moss, we have Cross Specialist, Post Flag Elite, Grab and Go, and In-Out Elite. I'm sure you noticed we don't have Streak Specialist on him. I'll be going over that in-game as to why we chose not to use that. Now, on Julio Jones, who's actually going to be our tight end, we have Grab and Go, Post Flag Elite, Streak Specialist, and In-Out Elite. The reason why we went with Streak Specialist as our fourth ability there and not on Randy Moss is because from that tight end spot, I really felt like there was no fourth ability we really needed, so I just went with Streak Specialist. The rest of the team, we have Walter Payton as our running back. We only use one running back in this offense. We use four wide receivers because I said Julio plays tight end for us. O-line, just always try to get the best O-line you can get. Defensively, we have four safeties because I like to sub them in at linebacker when we go to 146. Four DBs, again, just so we can have good slot corners. Simeon Rice and Miles Garrett are activated pass rushers. They get inside stuff. They get pass rush elite, and they get enforcer, which is really nice. And then they have reach elite as well. We have LT. We have Clowney. And then we have two linebackers, uh, two middle linebackers for when we go to 3 4. I already said we're going to be in the tight slots, uh, excuse me, the gun tight slots H back week out of the Raiders playbook today. And then we have the Packers defense. Now, I want to remind you all, well, not remind you, introduce to you all that we have a new code over on hotrod.tips. This is our final scheme for the entire year. So we're doing a promo code. It's called Summer 50, just regular Summer 50. You can see it on the screen here. You get 50% 50, 50 off every single thing on the entire site. You can't use it on yearlies because the yearlies is going to go all the way through next year. But any monthlies, any individual ebooks, anything you want to use, summer 50, you get 50% off on Hot Rods on Tips. I hope you all will use it. That is enough for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go with game one. This is probably going to be a little bit longer of a gameplay than usual because I'm going to try to get two to three games so we can see as much of the offense as possible. We're actually going to be starting on defense here. That's not a problem. I'm going to be going over my defensive adjustments and stuff too. It's not going to make too much of a difference. We're going to be focused on offense, but I definitely want to try to give you as much as I can on both sides of the ball. Our opponent actually came out in the Taysom Hill package. We have to look out for the running from Cam Newton. And we were able to get some pressure right there. I always try to send some pressure against Taysom Hill package. It doesn't have the best passing plays. It's really just about that QB blast, which makes it really effective. So from there, you can kind of try play as best pass defense as you can while making sure you contain that run. But since the pressure against tight offset too, just because it's actually really hard to get pressure, excuse me, it's really hard to stop tight offset without getting pressure against it. Nice read. Oh, wow. Nice spin move. Really nice spin move. That's, that, that ain't what we wanted. That ain't what we wanted. That was not good defense. Looking at this single back now. We're going to try to make sure we're containing the run. That's our first look. It's PA. It's PA. We got some pressure. Let's go. Now we're looking at this five wide. You can usually get pressure on this by sending four from one, four, six. So that's what we're going to do. And we're able to get the pressure. Looking to do the same thing here. I'm looking at the seam streak, though. We have to watch the seams. And our team's just getting pressure right now. Our team is just getting pressure. And I love it. Now we need to play some offense here. I'm going to go to conservative. I tend to play on conservative. You definitely don't have to do that. But I love it because you don't fumble in the pocket with your QB. Now, also, I go to strong slots package here. You see strong slots. That's to get your fourth wide receiver in at tight end, and then you can sub around your receivers to make sure you get the person that you want there. I want Julio as our tight end. I'm going to call timeout here. Make sure you set your audibles as well. You never know what your opponent's going to come out in. They might not come out in the play that you expect them to, and if they don't, then you can audible to the play you actually want. So that's really important. Making sure you're setting your audibles, doing your subs, doing your packages, going to conservative if you want to do that. And our opponent looks like it looks like they're in cover three here. If they're in cover three, we're actually going to try to go deep here. First play. Now this this formation is really good against pressure, but it's also pretty good against coverage as well. So we're going to see what we can do here. If we can if we can get a, a nice play first play, that'd be awesome. I think we have it. I think we have it. I think we have it. Do we make the pass? 
Oh, bad Pasley for me. Bad Pasley. We might have had a touchdown. I'm hoping this is cover two now. It is. It is. We should have the wheel route. We should have it. Nice pass from RG3. Oh, a little bit too far outside. That was my pass lead. I thought that was going to be perfect, but it was not. We can double post now. We have it. We have, we have Randy. Nice catch, Randy. The post routes from this formation are super effective against coverage. I don't know why the placement of them is so, is so perfect. It's like near close flex. If you've ran near close flex this year, the post routes in those formations, they just get to really good placements on the field, getting over cloud flats, getting underneath deep blues if they're in cover three, anything of that nature. And you just saw right there, the post got over the cloud flat and underneath the deep half really easily, and we're able to get a score. Now we're looking at this weak close flex. Again, these close flex formations can get really nice placement from their post routes and corner routes. As you see right there, our opponent completes the corner route. Back to tight offset. We need to watch the running back on this play. That's what hurt us before. It's manned up this time, and we're able to get some pressure. Our opponent's doing a good job of moving around the different formations. We're just trying to learn any tendencies, what they like to do, and take off with Cam. Take off with Cam. Nice hit. Ah. Uh oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. Yep, 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 yep. We didn't get a spy or anything right there. Ooh, ooh, Cam took a hit. Oh, and our opponent DC'd. All right, all right, all right. On to game two. Here we go with game two. We're actually going to be starting on offense, which I like for the purpose of this video. Obviously, we'd like to start on defense if it wasn't trying to talk about offense this game. But we're trying to give some advice on the offensive side of the ball. I actually brought it out there. Reason being is I like to start on a hash. For passing offenses, I feel like you should start on a hash just because passing plays work differently from the middle of the field as they do the hash marks. So I bring it out even if I don't get to the 25. It's looking like a cover three here. We're going to hopefully be able to go deep once again. We have it. We have it. RG3, what a throw. What a throw from RG3! We're looking to go double post right here. Our opponent looks like they're playing coverage mostly here. But this offense, what, it, what I love best about it... Ooh, we didn't get that toe tap. We didn't get that. It's okay. I love this offense for attacking blitzes. That's probably my favorite thing about it. Now, it's good against coverage. It's good against coverage. You're going to be able to do a good job from it. But I love how it attacks blitzes. I feel like there's so many different things you can do with the spacing. And I love that. We're going to go back to this double post. I feel like the double post was there. We're going to try it again here. Now, I already talked about how great the post spacing is. We can run here. We can run RG3. Slide, slide, slide. The red zone's where it gets a little bit tough here. We're going to try to throw a motion flat on the outside. I don't think we had it. I don't think we had it. We have the running back, though. We have the running back. Nice catch, Walter. Again, though, the ability to run the ball down here is such a great luxury for this offense. We didn't get in. Go on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. An offense that can run the ball and effectively pass is going to be really effective, especially in the red zone, which is always tough to score in the red zone. Every year in Madden, that doesn't really change. It's always tough down here. And now we're going to have to, we're going to be on a tough third down here. We came out with the plan of running the ball, but our opponent's in goal line, so we're just going to use this in-out elite. In-out elite, that's that's one of the reasons why we use it. If they're in man-to-man, -man, in-out elite's going to beat them with those five-yard out routes. And again, that makes it a little bit easier to score in the red zone. Most of the reason we use in-out elite, though, is for attacking blitzes out of the gun tight slots. I feel like it does a great job of helping us get quick passes off against anyone that sends heavy pressure. We get tackled. There we go, baby. Let's play some defense. One thing we have to note is Emmett Smith is lit up. He is activated, so we need to watch for any run plays for him. And then we also have to watch for him catching the ball out of the backfield. And right there, we got some nice pressure. Emmett Smith was about to be open. If you saw it, we'll, th we'll show the replay here. On that running back streak, if we didn't get a quick sec, he might have had a touchdown with Emmett Smith. Again, we have to watch Emmett Smith here on this seam streak. Let's go! We're back on offense here, and it looks like coverage once again. It was not. It was not coverage. It was not. Run, RG3! Run! It was not coverage. That was a bad read pre-snap. We actually got a lot of yards on that, though. Wow. It was a man blitz last play, so we're going to our wheel here. We should have a wheel. We should have a wheel for a touchdown. There we go. It was a man blitz to play before, and wheels from wide receivers like verticals out of bunch or out of this, they're going to beat man-to-man -man pretty much 90%. 99% of the time, I would say, especially if you, if you have a great receiver there like Randy Moss, it should do a pretty good job most of the time. And that's what you saw right there. It's a touchdown for Randy Moss. Something else I want to note too is never be afraid to think your opponent's going to do the same thing on the defensive side of the ball that they did the play before, especially if they thought it could be successful. I didn't have anything open the play before. So our opponent went back to the cover zero blitz and we were able to beat it. Now, not, I'm not saying everyone's always going to do that. I'm not the one who actually made that up. I heard that from somewhere else. I think it was Sirius Mo who I said, uh, uh, saw said that because I think it makes sense. It makes sense that your opponent probably will do the same thing in the next play, especially if it was successful. So just try to draw up your play for it. I'm not going to say it's going to work every single time, but a lot of the time it's going to end up working out for you. Big fourth down right here. We need to watch anything short. Go get him. Go get Lamar. Go get Lamar. Yes. Looks like coverage here, not a blitz. Oh, it's a, it's a delayed blitz. We fumbled. We're on aggressive. I forgot to go off aggressive when we were looking to run the ball. Nice recovery shorts. Nice recovery. I forgot on that third and goal when we were looking to run the ball. We went to aggressive and we ended up passing the ball and I forgot to take it off. Ooh. Ooh, 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 don't take hit sticks. Looking for our wheeler, our flat over here. Oh, oh, that was, that was nice. I need to be ready for that user rush again because that was actually really effective. Didn't do it that time. Run, RG, run, RG. 
But RG, oh! Wow, thank you for holding on to that ball. Let's go line again. We're just gonna do some out routes. Hopefully we can beat the man to man. And Julio got open. Julio, baby. Oh, is our opponent gonna quit out? All right, GG's on to game three. Here we go with game three. We're ready for another good one here. Let's see what our opponent, our opponent's team looks pretty, pretty good. We're gonna be starting on offense again here. I'm hoping we play a blitzer so we can get, yep, blitzing. I love it. I wanna be able to see, I wanna be able to show you all how good this, how good this offense can really be against the blitz. That first pass was a little bit too close. I'm hoping they continue to blitz here. We have our outside flat. Good field, Tori. Nice. Looking outer corner here, outer corner. We have the out, we have the out. We have to get that ball out quick. Grab and go. Ooh, don't take hit sticks. Once again, we're looking outer corner right here. We had the corner. We had the corner. I got to make the read. Oh, don't get sacked. Throw it away. Throw it away. I got to make that read right there. Hopefully we pick up the pressure right here. We did. We should have our post. We should have our post. Nice catch, Tori. Hopefully we can roll out of the pocket right here. Oh, oh click on. Oh, I was scared. That, uh, I was scared about a click on. We should be able to roll out right here. No blitz. No blitz coming. We got you, Randy. We got you, Randy. Nice catch. Our opponent here is doing a good job of mixing up blitzes and coverages. I'm having to make a different read every single play. I've got away from our coaching a little bit. That's my mistake. I was I was a little bit focused right there. Our opponent was giving me a little bit of trouble. But really, it's just about it's just about making the right read. Do I think that do I think they're gonna blitz or do I think that they're going to play coverage? I think this is probably a blitzing down on second and ten, but we'll see. Oh, it's a coverage down. We have the running back. We have the running back. Bad pass lead, but good catch from Walter P. I really should have just thrown the flat to the outside on the wheel side. It was wide open. Now we're going to have to contain this blast. Lamar Jackson's very, very effective in this game. We're going to have to watch for that. I didn't realize. I thought it was gun. I knew it was gun A slot, not gun A slot offset, but I did not know that they had a quarterback run of that. We're going to have to focus on that all game long because you never know when the quarterback's going to break one. You never, never know. I'm going to try to get a spy here. We should be able to. Yeah, we, should, we have a spy in. I just need to watch Lamar Jackson. If if, he, if the if our opponent dotters us, it, they dot us, right? I mean, it, that's that's all it is. We need to worry about the run first, and if after that, that's when we start playing the pass. Once once they start mixing in the pass more, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I don't think I even know what I was trying to say right there. So there's no way that you know what I was talking about. We'll just forget what I was rambling about. I don't even know what I was trying to say. We just need to do a good job on defense here and try to get a stop. That's really all there is to it. And I, I'm not familiar playing this formation that much. I play a slot offset a lot, but this is regular gun a slot. It's got a QB run out of it that I have to worry about pretty much all game. And we're getting dotted too. We got to worry about the passes too. We need to start playing better pass defense. We have to watch the corner routes from Benjamin. That's what's really been hurting us on this drive. We're going to man up Benjamin right here. I feel like that would be a decent adjustment to prevent that corner route from getting open with a cloud flat over the top to kind of sandwich that route and keep it from getting too much space. From there, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I have not, like I said, I haven't played this formation a lot. So it's really a feel out for me what this formation can do and not do. And ugh, the post is open. The post is open. Yeah, the post is open. Looking at this jumbo now. It's probably going to be a run play. There it is. Nice job inside stuff. Looking for the quarterback keeper. It's heavy Panther. Ooh, that was close. That was close. No, I got stuck. I got stuck. Nice run play. Well, that was actually a really good drive by our opponent. We didn't really even come close to stopping. Our closest was third and goal from the one yard line. So we we'll have to continue to score if we're because I felt really lost on defense. One of the other great benefits to this offense is you can audible to this touch pass, and that helps a ton when you're going against blitzers. So hopefully we can get some space out here. I'm hiking, hiking, hiking. There we go. Hopefully we get some space for Randy Moss with grab and go, which activates on these touch passes. Oh, we got some really good blocking right there. We got some really good blocking right there. I thought that was going to be no gain. I really thought that was going to be no gain. We got an amazing block. Randy made someone miss and we're able to score. Now we're going to be back on defense. We have to do a better job this possession because we didn't, again, I already said we didn't come close to getting a stop. But we're going to have to figure out what, what our opponent likes to do out of the A slot really quickly. I feel like there's pretty good defense here. We have the slot manned up to prevent any corner routes from going to the right side. If there's any post, that's my responsibility. I have over the middle of the field. We don't have we don't have any deep uh, deep thirds on the right side, so we shouldn't be able to get any deep passes. Nice knockout, nice knockout. I thought he, I thought our opponent was throwing the corner out. It looked pretty open to me. We're playing a very similar type defense right here with the slot manned up the middle of the field. It's mine. We're playing a little bit of a cover six look with the deep half on the wide receiver side. Nothing's there. We'll get him spy. Come on, let's get a pick right here. Get a pick. I'll take the knockout. I'll take the knockout. Big fourth down coming up. Now that I know our opponent's going to punt, that last pass was actually really smart. That probably would have been a really good punt if we picked the ball up there. It would probably have been like a 60, 70-yard punt. It was probably pretty smart to just lob it up there, get a little bit of a pass-type punt, if you will. Again, we're back to guessing here if it's blitz or coverage. I'm going to guess blitz. We have our outside. 
Nice Tory Holt. Nice. I'm guessing coverage here, but we have a couple quick routes we can throw. Oh, our crosser got bumped. Our crosser got bumped. I should have taken my hits. I should have taken my hits. On a down like this, it's usually good to go to a play that could work against coverage and blitzes. That's what we're going to here. We have the post. We have the post. Nice, Tori. That's something that's really important to have in your scheme. No matter what you run on the offensive side of the ball, you need plays that will work against coverage and blitzes because you can't guess right every single time. Looking for the wheel route on the right side. Nope, nothing's going to be there. I thought our opponent had manned that up a few times. We're going to have our hitch. Our opponent had moved, manned up Randy a couple times. Well, I thought they might do it again. I'm going to look for the same thing. I feel like it's going to be there this time. It wasn't. Run. Throw it right. Throw it to Randy. Accurate pass. Yes, that, that wheel route is not easy to throw accurately. So great job by RG3. I'm guessing pressure again. We're looking to the outside. Oh, they were on that. They were on that. Well, we got a nice animation. Let's go. I can't see it back, but I really think the seam streak was the right read right there. I felt like our opponent ran to the flat, so the seam streak was probably there. It ended up working out for us, but we have to be able to make that seam streak read, especially against the blitz. I'm talking about blitz, but I'm not even sure if they blitz right there. I feel like they probably did, though, since there was no flat outside. But we definitely need to make that seam streak read. That's part of why this offense is so good against the blitz because of that seam streak. Make a play, go Marty! Go Marty! I can't believe we got that. I thought that playmaker was definitely gonna work. We'll take it. I don't want to force anything before half here, but if we can get some more points to get a three possession lead, that would be better. And that's not how you want to start it. Looking for this seam streak this time. It's there. Randy! Randy! Go, baby! Go! Grab and go! Grab and go, Randy! Yes! Let's go! Definitely a nice way to end the half. Now, this is a big drive, though, because if our opponent scores, they're right back in the game. It's a two-possession game. But if we get a stop, we keep commanding position. So this is probably the biggest drive of the game so far. Send your spy. Send your spy. Make a play on it. Make a play on it. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. We need to, we need to hold a three right here. I don't even know if it's going to be possible to hold a three because our opponent would probably go for it if we... All right, well, we didn't hold a three regardless. We need to get a score now. We're going to start this half off by going to the touch pass once again. We'll see if it worked. It worked the first time. We'll see if it'll work here. We have grab and go. And I made the wrong cut. I made the wrong cut. That could have been a lot more yards. Looking to roll out right here. Hopefully, we don't get any pressure. Okay, we got the roll out. We have the roll out. Randy, I, I got to make that read sooner. That could have been a lot. That could have been a, That was too tight of a window. That was too tight of a window. You don't want to risk throwing that pass late. You got to make the right read on time. When your opponent breaks down, our opponent broke down to the in route. We need to make that read. Now we have we have double me. We have double me. We're gonna try it here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep Randy on his wheel route, and that way he'll probably get single coverage even if he's manned up. Nope, nope. It's not gonna be single coverage. We got to throw this post. Marvin, nice catch. We're streaking Randy Moss here. That way we can we can use our double me as a decoy and single coverage. Go we'll get it, Randy. Yes! I love double me! That play right there is a perfect example of why I like to use double me over Moss. For one, it's easier to unlock. Ah, nice pass. It's easier to unlock than Moss. And then two, obviously it's the same type of guarding concept with putting more people, but if they have to man up double me and take two players out of their play, then you can use it as a decoy with the corner route. And that time they had to guard the corner route, so then you can then you get open on the streak. So it's really, you can use double me in so many ways. It's one of my favorite abilities to use because it's definitely unlockable as well. I got to stop giving up that corner route. That's my bad. That's my bad. I'm watching the right side myself now. Not there. The man up. Shanti. I don't know how, Shanti just made a great play. I really do want to use that double me again, but I don't want to take a safety right here. We can get out with Walter. That's another great part of this offense. The inside zone. So good with Walter P. Let's go to the crib, baby. I love, I love the inside zone of this offense. It's so nice to be able to pass out of an offense, but then have runs that you can go to that are effective. All right, GG's. That's it for the games. That was three games. I felt like you were able to see what the offense is about and kind of, and hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you learned something. I'm not the best with the commentating. It's hard to go through all throughout the entire time focusing where I have to kind of play while also trying to coach as well. So hopefully you learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please remember, like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy. Peace. Grab and go!